Hi, welcome to the Zoom interface. Let me give you a guided tour uh, around everything and this weird hologram that's happening. I'll share how you produce that shortly. So over in this corner, you've got your microphone and your webcam. Hopefully reasonably obvious what happens there. You switch your mic off. You switch your webcam off. Can't see me. Um, then we've got just here, there, you've got your invite tab. Um, by clicking that, it will allow you to invite people via their email address direct from Zoom, but it will email them through your email account. Then you've got the manage participants. Um, I will share that with you shortly, but I do have another video that will show you what that looks like with multiple people. Then you've got the share tab. That will allow you to share your screen, but also to share programs. The chat box, that will allow you to talk to people, but also for them to talk to you via a typed format. And again, I have a video that explains that. The record will allow you to record as per mentioned in another video, whether that's locally on your computer or in the cloud on the Zoom platform. And then finally, you've got the breakout rooms. One more video again will navigate you through that. So let me take a, a quick tour then of each of these in a bit more detail. So we've got some audio settings here. I'll allow you to experience those in your own time. Fairly straightforward, but a little bit of a test on audio as well. Then you've got the video settings and the choose virtual background is what I've got going on right now. So um, if I take you to this interface, you can see that I can play with my screens. So let's fly over to San Francisco. Uh, let's pop to my favourite place. Um, it just allows you to have a background going off. So I guess it makes the delivery look a little bit more professional and it stops you all realising that I'm currently delivering in my child, or my baby's bedroom. So hopefully that makes things a bit more professional. You've got a number of other settings then down here. Um, so general settings, again, I'll allow you to experience in your own time. I think most of them are are fairly obvious. The video settings that I've just displayed. Um, a mirror effect is worth mentioning. Stops our Swim England logo going right. Audio settings in terms of in terms of checking each of those. The virtual background, which I've just mentioned. Um, your recording in terms of where it's being recorded. So this is quite important if I get my hand right. Make sure you know where it's being saved. Um, and then statistics, keyboard shortcuts and accessibility. I'm not sure you'll need, but I'll allow you to check out in your own time. So we then have the invite, as I've said, that will go direct through uh, your email accounts. Manage participants. This is this bit here. And in another video where I've got a few more attendees, you can see this in use. Um, and a few settings here that we've got. So when it comes to share, you can share your screen. That will share everything that's on your screen. Do be mindful of that. So in terms of what you've got open in the background, particularly emails, you're probably better off sharing the individual programs. But then a problem that occurs there is that if you're wanting to go from PowerPoint to say a video on YouTube, um, if you're only sharing PowerPoint, you'll suddenly realize that uh, your um, internet tab isn't showing. So just be aware of what you're going with there. And um, when it comes to clicking, you need to actually hit share and then, sorry, you need to press what it is and then actually hit share. So you've got your chat box that will allow you to type messages to individuals or as a whole. And again, a little bit more on that um, within the videos that have more attendees. Excuse me. Uh, and then you've got the recording, so in terms of where this is being recorded, and then the breakout rooms, which I've showed in, a, in another video. So that's your tour of uh, the interface when it comes to Zoom.